This classic video is a link from Adventures in Water Skiing, the six-part history of wakeboarding, kneeboarding, hydrofoiling, and much more. There are many variations to the Wake 360. The one shown here is a 360 using an outside wrap. This simply means the rope is outside your body and the wake. The term inside wrap means the rope is between or inside your body and the wake. Shown here is the standard tow rope wrap, which Tony demonstrates just outside the wake. Familiarize yourself with this wrapped approach. It's the position you need to be in to execute the Wake 360. The standard tow rope wrap is achieved by using the palms down grip and riding behind the boat just outside the wake. To wrap the rope, extend your arms and lean slightly forward. Prepare for a strong pull. Pull the handle to your right hip. Release your left hand while easing the handle to your back without letting yourself rotate. Use your free hand to grab the handle behind your back. The handle should be in a vertical position near the center of your back. Release the right hand and quickly grab the line in front of you. Do this as soon as you have the handle in your left hand and centered in your back. This hand switch must be done quickly. Grabbing the rope with your right hand will keep the boat from unwrapping you. Watch as Tony demonstrates the setup procedure here. Once you've learned the wrapped approach, you're ready to begin the Wake 360. The key to performing tricks on a vertical axis is to keep your orientation by focusing your eyes on the horizon. After you have wrapped, cut toward the wake and lean forward. Just before you hit the wake, flatten your board and pop off the crest of the wake. Then release the rope with your right hand. Don't release the rope too soon or you won't be able to pop and get the altitude you need to complete the turn. Keep your eyes on the horizon as the rope pulls you around 360 degrees. If you fall short of the full 360 degrees, start your rotation once your knees have passed the crest of the wake. Make sure you feel the pull of the boat before you take your hand off the line. Finally, rotate your head and upper body to complete the spin. As you are rotating, maintain your axis by keeping shoulders level. The boat can also be used for orientation or as a marker to let yourself know how many rotations you have done. At the completion of the turn, pull the rope in toward your waist and quickly re-grab the handle with both hands. Try not to land with one hand as this will throw your balance off. As you land and pull the rope in, remember to lean back slightly. Avoid letting the handle pull you out of position. 